One of my absolute favorite cardio exercises that you're going to find in the program is jumping rope. And this is an incredible exercise because not only does it work your lower body, but it also works your upper body, your shoulders, your arms, your back, and your legs. And it really helps you burn a lot of fat as well as increase your agility, stability, balance. It's really just an all around incredible exercise. But a lot of people are intimidated by it because they don't really know how to best jump rope. Well, that's what I'm going to show you right now. The first thing I want you to do is make sure that you have a good jump rope. There's a few things that you need to understand. You, need to, um, you want something a little bit heavier because as this rope is swinging around, if it's too light, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pick up wind resistance on the way around and you're going to have catching your feet a lot. So what you want is something, I like to use one that's made out of rubber, it's a little bit stronger, uh, it's harder, it'll last longer. Uh, leather is also a really good option because it's very dense and uh, you put some oil on it and stuff and it'll keep it really, really pliable, it'll, it'll last a long time. Uh, those are really good, but I don't recommend things like the, um, you know, the, like the clothesline uh, rope and things like that. So find yourself one that uses a good rope and is also the right length. You want to make sure that it's long enough. I mean, I'm, a, I'm six feet two inches tall, so it's hard for me to find one that's actually long enough. A lot of them come adjustable now, work really well, but you want to make sure that it's long enough. And you'll know right as soon as you start jumping rope whether or not it's the right size or not. So those are really important ones. There are some also you want a, a, good, a good handle that you can hold on to. You got, uh, this one's made out of uh, like some spongy material, works really, really well. Um, some of them have weights in the handles, which work really well. They're more advanced. Once you work up in, uh, in being able to jump rope, you'll be able to use the ones with the, uh, sometimes they have, they have a, a heavier rope and uh, also heavier handles. So you can work up to those. They give you a little bit more of an arm and shoulder workout. Now let me show you what a lot of people do that you don't want to do. When they're, trying to, when they're trying to jump rope, they end up doing like you did back in second grade, which is like the just like that, or you know, they're trying to, trying to hop their way through it. That's not what you're trying to do. I mean, if you, wanna, if you want a good training video, go and uh, besides this one, go watch Rocky. Uh, that's how to do it, and that's what we're gonna work our way up to. So, as you start doing this, don't get intimidated by this. The first time you try it, you're gonna be hitting your feet nonstop, and then you're gonna notice after a couple of minutes that you're starting to get two, three, four, five, six jumps in there, You'll be able to do this more and more and more. In no time, you're going to be able to like you're going to, you're going to be like Rocky with this stuff. It's really really cool. So, first thing you do when you're starting out is um, you're going to go ahead and start with the rope behind you, and you're just going to hop up on your toes. This is all done on the balls of your feet. Okay, so you're just going to start slow, just get a good hop in there, just so you get the rhythm down. Okay, just going up and down and give yourself enough clearance that you're able to let the rope go through. And if you try and just hop a little, a tiny bit, you're gonna end up catching your feet a lot more. This way you're using a little bit more legs as you're hopping up higher, but it'll allow you to work on your, on your timing a little bit better as well. Okay, so just go slow. And as you start getting better at this, after you start going, you can start switching feet. So what I like to do is you do like two on the left foot, two on the right foot. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you can just keep doing that. Then you start mixing it up. So it's just straight up and down. One, two, one, two, one up and down, one, two. You can just kind of keep working on your rhythm by keeping it programmed. And then what you'll find, once you get a little bit better at this, is you can start just mixing it up. After a while, you're not even thinking about it. Okay, now you're only, you're not swinging your arms around like this, like a lot of people do. You're just moving your wrists. And you're gonna feel it in your shoulders. You're gonna feel it in your arms. And you're gonna build up some strength very, very quickly there. So now, it's on to freestyle form. So from here, you're not even thinking about where your feet are. You build the agility, you're just going left, right. It's, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. Sometimes you do in the middle. You might go left for left, right, right. It doesn't matter. You're just kind of freestyling. Because it's all about just keeping your body moving. Upper body, lower body, it's all good. Now this is gonna raise your heartbeat quite a bit. So if you're trying to keep a low intensity exercise on this, 
You want to do it for about five or ten minutes. We want to slow it down some. Okay, just kind of keep it slow. It's harder for me to go slower than it is to go faster. So then you're going to build up, and you'll just be able to go back and forth. Now you can start getting a little bit more advanced. You can start playing Rocky with it. Okay, so one of the things you can do is cross your arms. I've seen Rocky do that a few times. And you're basically just crossing your arms, going through the loop. It's all part of the freestyle. Ah. Then, when you get really, really advanced with this stuff, you start doing doubles. So basically, you're jumping up in the air, and you're getting two skips in at the same time. So, now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a triple. We'll see how it goes on camera. But you can work up the triples. <laughs> and just a little bit short of it. But you get the idea. It doesn't take any time whatsoever for you to become a pro at this. Really raise your heartbeat and get in a great, great cardio workout.